Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports News. I'm Joe Borg, and this is going to be the next NCAA Regionals video, as this is going to be on St. Cloud State Huskies, as they played a very good game, especially Fitzgerald and Walker and Sam Hedges as well. Uh, the draft picks as well as Burbix, who both went to the Olympics in Hedges and Burbix, and they came back with stellar confidence. And that really showed uh, for the ending of the regular season in college hockey, and obviously in the tournament as well, where they even elevated their play more. But when it comes to St. Cloud State, this first line that they have is guys to look out for to get signed. Mika Miller, Great player, uh, plays very good on both ends, very smart. Kevin Fitzgerald is the same way as a grad transfer. That's why he has an A. He's a leader. He's a guy that plays a smart 200-foot game. And then Kyle Kupka as the junior as well. They also have a fifth-year um, senior um, in Easton Brozinski, um, who is out of Minnesota and is the brother of Johnny, Bryce Brzezinski, and uh, I think Mike, yeah, Michael, I think, is the other one in the ECHL for the uh, Solar Bears. But um, they he's the brother of a hockey family, so he obviously has the fundamentals down. He's definitely a guy I think should get a chance, at least at the ECHL level, to get to work his way up from there. And we've seen plethora of guys work their way up, whether it's Robbins um, with, with Toronto, whether it's Bennington, who's a huge guy, uh, Jack Campbell was down there one time. Jonathan Quick was in the ECHL. So there's many great names that have been through the ECHL over the years as well. Um, so was Brett Seabrook. Brett Seabrook was actually in the ECHL. So like, there's many great names that have been in the ECHL geez, over the years. But let's get into more guys. Nolan Walker, sharp as attack. Um, he had a beautiful... Um, play where he was able to just get the puck and shoot it on a turnover at the end, playing great defense. That Brzezinski, uh, Walker, and Hedges line was absolutely dirty, and um, it's going to be interesting to see if Walker gets a chance in a lower league as well, because he definitely plays a very smart cut-down-the-lanes game as well, where not, like, even guys that are good at defense, not every good defensive player, even at the NHL level, is great at cutting off, like like jumping a play to be able to almost read it like a secondary player in football to just read a guy's eyes and then be able to make those types of steals. There's only been a select few guys that are fantastic at that, where he seems like he's a guy that's good at that, and there's not a lot of guys like that. So if you can just get everything else going at a higher degree as you move him up to the pros each level, I think he has a chance to be a successful kid. Um, Obviously, Nick Burbick's. He fits into the he fits completely into the mold uh, with the Tampa Bay Lightning. A big defenseman plays fantastic on both ends. There's no fear about him. He does everything great, and yeah, so that's all you have to say about him. Uh, Jack Pert, he's gonna fit in swimmingly. He's only a freshman, but in a freshman year, having 17 points for a program like the Huskies, getting the reliability from uh, Brett Larson, getting put in big situations that he's been put in throughout the season at different times. He's going to be a hell of a defenseman given time for the Minnesota Wild, who already have good defense prospects, just adding to it with Jack Pert. David Horenic, who unfortunately did not play in this game, he's going to be a good goalie for the Kings, at least I think as a backup level as time goes on, and he can work his way up from there. But he's a good goalie prospect in my eyes, and it was very unfortunate we didn't get to see the Slovakian native in this game because he had a stellar season. Um, stopping pucks left and right. He was a brick wall in some games for St. Cloud this year. But Caster played a solid game. Uh, he's just more working through the grooves of, 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 of his career. He has more weaknesses than Hrenic, where hence the draft pick for Hrenic, not the draft pick for Caster. But Caster's a guy I think next year can be a break season for him in terms of um, a breakout season, where he would just then be able to kind of take the mantle and be able to do it, because Hrenic was a fifth year, so I assume the Kings might sign him, and then Castro will be able to kind of move up and get more playing time there, and then uh, Lamarox, or however you say his name, I don't really know anything about Joey Lamarox, but uh, he only played in one game and didn't play too well, so I don't think they, I don't know what they're going to decide to do with him, I'm assuming the goalie the goalie they have coming in in the recruiting class might be the backup or even the starter as a freshman, but we'll have to see. And I'll go over, like I said, with AIC and the AIC video. I'll do recruiting class videos 
later when it comes to other teams I covered at the Frozen Four, or well, not the Frozen Four, the Allentown Regionals, and hope to cover at the Frozen Four when I when I hope to get approval from the NCAA. But this has been a video on the St. Cloud Huskies. Again, players that really stood out. Uh, Vetti Metinen, I was solid. The the, the, the um also I, I should bring him up was great this year for them, but I thought was only solid in the tournament, uh, which is not a problem. I mean, he's only a sophomore. So uh, he he has time, obviously, but I did think his play in the tournament wasn't di didn't step up where others did like Hedges, uh, who's older than him, so it makes sense. But at the same time, uh, you you had other guys that are younger like Jack Pert that kind of stood out to me at different times, um, as well. Uh, where I didn't didn't really think uh, Medinin stood out swimmingly, but. I do still think he's going to be a good player. He's a quick skater. He's one of those smaller guys that gets the stupid rep nowadays, especially with it being a more finesse skill league than it is a physical league. Well, I love the physical side of hockey, but it just ain't there as much anymore. So I think guys like Medinin are even more successful in today's game than they ever have been before. But And, and even more successful potentially at the NHL level because I see more physical games at college hockey at times than I do in the NHL. So he, he may even sometimes have more space in the shell nowadays. But uh, everybody have a great, safe, pleasant day. This has been a video on the St. Cloud Huskies. You had 23 return players. It really showed this year with Brett Larson um, as well. And um, he really had a great recruiting class. Um, had a great job putting this team together. Great job keeping guys there, which is the key. But also getting a prospect to the level of Jack Pert into St. Cloud State. That's huge. Getting Medinin in there. Yes, I said he didn't have a fantastic tournament, but he's a fantastic player. Just because he didn't have one fantastic tournament is something fell back there. Um, he's still a fantastic player. So this has been the video on St. Cloud State. Went a bit long on this, so I'm going to cut it. This has been Sports Night News. I'm Joe Boric. Please continue to subscribe up above or down below to keep the con or keep the contract, keep the channel growing to 215 or more by the end of March. I really appreciate you guys' love and support this far. Peace out, everybody, and stay safe.